Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 1989 AM General Humvee. Stefan and his wife flew in from Europe and they were able to choose a specific truck for themselves and then we built it out. This is a basic build with a little bit of extra sauce. So it started off as a two-man truck. And then we've added a whole host of accessories. Let's start off with the front here. We've got a Laverne brush guard. Uh, we're waiting on, the only thing that we're waiting on in this truck to be finished essentially are the Laverne pieces so that we can uh, pull it uh, forward and back without having to take bolts out. We've upgraded the front with LED headlights, truck lights, uh, along with the corners. Basically every light in this truck is LED. Um, we didn't touch up the underside, we just left it as it was. We rebuilt two portal axles. We did 24 bolt wheels with B, uh, BF Goodrich Baja TAs. We mounted those in-house. Uh, new seals, rings, the whole nine yards. Got yourself a new set of uh, hood pins. We've also added a fording kit. We didn't just put the actual mushroom on there. We actually did the whole entire thing. Everything sealed correctly. We've got a new top, new doors. The paint has been touched up, so we paint the whole entire truck in green, and then we follow the military pattern so that it matches up with the existing camouflage door pat patterns. As you walk to the rear, I want you to take note of the military gas jugs that were requested by Stefan. And then we've got ourselves an airlift bumper from MME, and then a Rhino tire carrier. So this tire carrier, you can actually lift and lower the tire without having to strain your back. Um, as you look at the edge here, you've got your truck light LED, and then we made a plate for them because it's gonna be in Europe, and it's magnetized. So you can remove it, put it back in place, um, there's your, the remainder of your fording kit. I'm going to go ahead and open up the door. We have new mirrors too. So when you take a look inside here, we've put a keyed ignition in here. Uh, we've serviced essentially the whole thing because we sent it out to Linex. So we disassembled the whole entire interior and then we put it back together. Go ahead and crawl inside there. And then when you get in there, open up that one of those little flaps. So we've added uh, charging ports for your cell phones for both sides. All of it's marine grade wiring with a fusible link. Um, new cushions, new seat belts, a whole host of goodies. And then in the engine bay, we've got a cast car grounding kit, full service, all new fluids and filters, new oil pan gasket, new uh, valve cover gaskets, new ECM, new glow plugs, new glow plug controller. I mean, anything that you can think of that needed to be replaced is replaced. Let's go ahead and go for a ride. What we'll do is we'll take it up to operating speed and then we'll take it for a little bit of uh, off-roading right here on these rocks so you can see how it works. We're inside the cabin of Stefan's truck. We replaced a host of gauges. I believe we did the generator gauge and the fuel gauge. Those were both inoperable. And then what we did is it originally had a mile marker winch, so that's a hydraulic setup, and it was mounted here. We went ahead and switched over our fording kit uh, switch to that, and then we put our winch controller here and then you've got a mile marker winch uh, controller underneath the back seat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go through the gears, we'll drive down Ravenswood, and then um, you can make your decision on if you want us to build you a truck.
nice and smooth. You can cruise at this speed all day. You can even go faster if you have to pass one on the highway, but I mean, this is the recommended speed that you should be at. Let's go ahead and go to these rocks. So here's our rocks. Uh, what, this is essentially used for the train tracks. What they'll do is they'll put them under the rail so they can keep the line straight. Or we can use it as our uh, test track. What we're gonna do this is we're gonna put it in neutral. We're gonna put it in the low position and back in the drive. You can see your trash can, your uh, torque converter lock up. And uh, let's let this thing crawl up by itself. It's pretty easy. Uh, I just like to show this work. Nice and slow. Nice and smooth. Didn't even need to do anything. You just crawled over it by itself. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I'd like you to subscribe to our YouTube and then we've got a pretty cool feature on our Instagram, which is Bullet Motorsports. On our storyline, we actually show the progression of every single truck or car that we're building. So you're gonna go to uh, Bullet Motorsports or hashtag Bullet Motorsports and that'll be our Instagram. And then when you click on Humvee Builds, it's actually gonna show you the progression of every single truck day to day. So if you're getting one built or if you wanna see what's going on here, go ahead and do that. It's really neat. Thanks again and follow us on Facebook too.